We've finally gotten to the point where I've actually got this. It's a mock multi-floor thingamabob. And uh, basically people walk along and they go over here and there's no lift. So yeah, lol. So anyway, there's a control system over here which controls the lift. And the actual call button that would call to each floor would have to be programmed with more logic around the back. Really easy though, to be honest. Um, but at the moment, if I was on foot, so uh, I mean, need to get up to that, let's see. Which floor? We'll put it on the bottom floor. So we're going to say down and then we're going to say join the rail. And so it's going to go out, go down. I said downwards. There we go. Right. We'll use the controls in here, I think. So we'll go disembark. There we go right now. If I just jump out the core, I'm going to... F oh, wow, it's all skew if. That's okay. So I'm going to come around the bottom floor. Simulate how a player might come around here. Oh, we're going to get into the lift. Uh, there's gravity just here. So that'll put me in gravity. There we go. Now I want to deploy the elevator. So this is going to make the cab that I'm in join the rail. So off we go. This is going to go along the rail. You can see we've left there and I want to go to the top floor first so do that there's a disembark button for every floor and an emergency break on every floor if you hit the emergency break it'll just stop wherever you hit the button if you hit the disembark then it'll make its way to he says there we go so this is going to take me to the floor I want to get at and obviously you could make this rail way more complicated I've just done it in a simple way to show what you can do with it. So here I am at the top floor now. So if I was now to redeploy the elevator, it'd be nice if you could fill this gap in here, but it collides with the rail. So I guess you'd have to build a wall or a safety guard or something there. Okay, so we get to here and then we're going to go down. So I want to get off at this floor. You just got to hit the button before you actually go to the rail. It moves pretty slow, so it's easy to get the timing. Um, but as you can see, doop, there I am. It flush fit. It's fitting flush, which is really nice. I thought there might be a, you know, it's, it's a good feature that. It's just a, so, like I say, you've got to, I think, build the full thing, and then have a little piece of mechanics coming out the side there, so it doesn't collide, because you do need to have a gap on the moving edge. So. So let's say we want to go down to the floor, but not the bottom, like floor two or something. <clears throat> so we're on the rail now, and we go down. So let's see. It'll be this one coming up now. Hit that, and off we go. Nice and easy. And that's floor two. So instead of controlling, <coughs> controlling the cab, you control the rail. That's the main difference. But the cabs, like the actual rail system itself, is really easy. Um, and the this doesn't really use any logic because it's just activation blocks. It's There's no ands or ors or anything like that. So... And that's it, really. I mean, you could even have you know other sections going in the opposite direction you don't need to have this wiring here I just did it for demonstration that could all be hidden behind it and like I say you've got buttons in the cab there it is I did something. Off it goes. So it's like an on-demand thing. You tell it what you want at the time. I really like that about it. Mm. You and can tell wherever you want to go. Yes, and you control it as you're riding it as well. The only thing it doesn't have is a re is a call button. So I think it, I think I could put a recall system in this.